Hello world, welcome to the 103rd video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the fourth video in my small business automation playlist, and in today's video we'll be using a Python li library called uh, docx to text to read a Word document and then extract the data and then we'll input it into an access database. So as a quick note, this library only works on the Word files with a dot doc x, D -O -C -X files and not for other Word uh, file types. There are different libraries to handle those uh, files, but most uh, 365, t uh, Windows, or I'm sorry, Office 10, etc., those all use dot doc x, and that's what we'll be doing today. And so let's imagine we have a sign up form. So I made one up for the purpose of this video. I called it the uh, Brandon Jacobson YouTube Fan Club form. And it just has three uh, elements right now, the last name, the first name, and the email address. And so this is what's called an office form. Uh, it could be a blank document with some elements. It's up to you. Um, but leave a comment. I've used uh, Excel and PowerPoint in previous videos. And uh, if there's any appetite or if uh, anybody wants to see advanced Microsoft Office product tutorial videos, please leave a comment and let me know what you want to see or what you want to create. And so um, for the purpose of this video, we just have a simple fan club form with the last name, first name, and email address. Okay, so my last name is Jacobson, first name is Brandon. Here's my email address. Okay, so let's close this. And now, using this Python library, docx to text, uh, we will read the form and print out the, those three elements. Now, it may seem so kind of silly to automate a process that only has three elements, but imagine if there was 10 to 50 elements. And then, while we won't do it in this video, imagine if you receive 10 to 50 forms uh, a day that you have to, someone has to take that information and put it into a database. And so that, what you're talking about is a part-time to full-time employee just doing simple data entry where we can just automate all of that. So let's run this code real quick. Um, I created a function called read sign up form. So let's see how this works. And it read the last name is Jacobson, first name is Brandon, and the email as bjones6 at gmail.com. All right. So that's great. It worked. So let's go through this code real quick. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure you pip install docx2, the number two text. All right. And you don't have to put it in a function or create a class. You can just uh, start the code here, but I created my own function. And then you assign any variable equals docx2 text dot process. Process has a lowercase p. And then you put the uh, address of where your form is, ending in docx. So just to show you something real quick that's unique to PyCharm, and uh, I would love it if they uh, change this in PyCharm. But oops. So this is the form that we're at right here. But let's go to this form real quick, the file location. So open file location, click off of this, right? And then it gives you the address. So you can just copy and paste into here, but just know that when you copy and paste directly from Word, it has forward slashes and you need backslashes, all right? So you just have to simply uh, change that. So it would be nice if it was either or, but whatever. And then you add the file name. So first, let's print that up. So let's see what that looks like. So what it does is here is the, um, the top part of it. It doesn't read the header, or it does read the header if I had one. All these blank spaces, my last name, then my first name, right? Because it reads it left to right, then goes to the next line, left to right. Then the field that says last name, the field that says first name, my email, then the field that says email address, and then some blank lines. All right, so uh, what we're going to do 
is use a dot split and we're going to split that with no uh, breaks. So let's print out what no line breaks looks like. So there are no line breaks now. Now we have a list. But now it registers all the spaces after it. So what we need to do is get rid of those spaces in our list. So there are better ways to do this, but um, this is how I knew, did it. So I created an empty list. So no spaces equals empty list. Then for each word, so here's a word right here. This is one whole word. This is a word, this space. This is a space. If that's a space, then disregard it by passing. However, if it's not, so if it's anything else but this, we're going to append it to this list. So now we have a new list called no spaces. Let's print that out. Great. So now we have a list and each one of this has an index. So in computer programming, when we talk about indexing, we start with zero. So this is index zero. This is one, this is two, three, four, etc. So what we do is we say the last name is no spaces index one. So zero one is my last name. First name will be two right here. Email equals here five. And so as we saw when we first ran the code, you can print each of those to make sure you have the right thing. But for our purpose, we're going to use these information and uh, put it to an access database. So all we do is we're going to return the list, this last name, this first name, and the email so we can use it later. Okay, so let me show you this database I created really quick, video 103. And it is an empty database that has last name, first name, and email. Now if you're using Python or any automation to access uh, a database, any database, even if it's a SQL, um, it doesn't like spaces. So that's why you see these underscores. Okay, so there was nothing in there. And now we're going to pass, uh, create a um, function called database entry, and we're going to pass it the last name, first name, and email. I just did that to uh, for um, easy access. If this is a large code, it's better to call it by its real name is last name. So we're going to pass it. So we're going to call this read signup form and pass it into here. So you do that by saying ln, e, ln, fn, and email equals read signup dot form. And what this does is it says it captures these return statements. So ln is now last name, first name is now first name, and email equals email. And then we're going to pass that into this called database entry, which wants the last name, the first name, and the email. So the last name will be LN, first name equals FN, email equals EM. Now I won't go into most of this code because I discuss it in my um, previous videos. And uh, so I'll leave a card here. So you can watch a video where it goes into depth on what this code is. So we're going to connect to this database called video 103. I just showed you that it's empty. Then we're going to insert the last name, first name and email that you just saw in the previous function. And then we're going to print out your database has been updated. Your database has been updated. So let's check out what used to be our empty database. All right, so we have uh, now the first ID was number one, and that's because I did it uh, off camera testing. So we have the last name, the first name, and the email. And that's pretty simple. So in uh, what's not shown here is you can do another file that says you can save uh, 10 of these forms into a blank folder and then say for each file in that folder, run this process. And then at the end of that, you move it to a completed file. And then it'll go to the next file, read the data and put it into a database. So we're literally replacing a full time data entry uh, position in a small business. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel to continue watching this playlist or my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant. Uh, like this video, leave a comment um, if you have an idea or if you want to see Microsoft Office products, uh, advanced topics. So just let me know. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.